What's up guys, Mainly Hockey Cards here, and today before we get into the video, thank you all so much for 2,500 subscribers, absolutely incredible milestone for the channel, and I'll have a giveaway announced at the end of the video, but first, here's the highlights of my purchases from February and March. Two Byfield PSA 10 Young Guns for $70 each, a Connor McMichael PSA 10 Young Guns for $34.80, for $22.80, this Kempe 1 of 1 Cup Rookie Plate, at fifteen sixty, this Doc Retro Future Watch out of two forty nine, twenty forty got me this sweet Bork Finest Refractor for just thirteen twenty. This PSA ten Felix Podfin Donruss Elite insert, pretty early numbered insert and a very desirable player. Big fan of this card for a whopping three hundred thirty two forty. This Gordy House Grip three PSA ten with the auto graded authentic. For how auto in a PSA 10, I think this is pretty cheap. At 163.17, a Jack Hughes PMG, very close to completing this set, about 75% done. 57.03 was a reasonable price for this Hedman Green PMG out of 10. At 242.83, I bought this Stutzla Retro PMG PSA 7, not the greatest grade, but a classic case of buying the card and not the grade. For 160, this Laffy PSA 8 Retro PMG. Incredible deal here, and he had an incredible goal against the Capitals yesterday. Interested to see what happens in the offseason. For 2184, a Philippe Forsberg Seismic Gold PSA 9. Just 2026 for this Middle Stat Synergy Cast for Greatness Gold out of 10. I now have two of the 10 copies. 58.63 for this Debrinket Cup Scripted Swatches Rookie. Excited for the future of Ottawa, even if they miss the playoffs. 25.93 for this Johnny Busick Enshrinements. Auto is a little weak, but I still felt it was a really unbeatable price. Honorable numbers of Carter and Hedman for 64.82. Again, a pretty unbeatable price. For 34.17, a Petrangelo Goodbranson POE out of five. 52.25 for a Horvat Besser signature patches out of 15. For 26.66, a Pavelski renditions. 17.33 for this Jake Evans, the Cup Gold Rookie Auto. 25.59 for this Chelios renditions. 43.18 for a Burns scripted swatches. 127.95 for this Malkin scripted swatches. Slick card in person. I've wanted a Gem Mint Sorokin Future Watch for a while, so 258.69 seemed like a good entry point. Really glad Beckett did not end up making those god awful changes. 43.72 for this Bob out of 12. 39.61 for this Tavares Duchesne Second Year Enshrinements out of 35. 15.83 for this Kratzov rookie on the off chance he turns into a stud in Vancouver. 38.39 for this McKinnon PMG for my set. 27.09 for this first year Prism Cracked Ice of Taves. $42 for this immortalized Silver Prism PSA 10 of Mike Richter. $73.20 for this Bobby Clark Epic Signatures PSA 10. Unknowingly, I actually got into a pretty epic bidding war with my office buddy on this one. Shout out to you, Jack. Last but not least, 485.73. I bought this lot of 2020-21 SP Signature Legends Edition, Pronger and Kachuk Future Watches, some Canvas Autos, and 1997 Retro Autos, including a Madonna that just sold for $160, and then some other Autos. I'll easily make a profit here. Wait, do you see what I saw? Yes, that's the Group A 1 in 20,449 pack Andy Bathgate Auto. That one is being slabbed up and vaulted away for when the market dries up and this becomes a set collecting gem. So that does it for the past couple months of purchases. Next, I did promise a giveaway for when I hit 2,500 subs. I'll be giving away a mystery prize pack with a value estimated to be around $250 to one lucky subscriber. All you have to do is be publicly subscribed to the channel, like this video, and leave a comment with your favorite pickup thus far this year. It doesn't even have to be hockey or cards. All eligible submissions will be counted up until the winner is chosen at random next Sunday, April 9th on my community tab. If you do win, I'll have my contact info available to claim your prize 
as well as commenting on your winning comment. For all people entering, please double check that if you get a comment saying you've won, it is coming directly from me and not an account impersonating me. I've seen this happen to a fellow hockey card YouTuber and do not want to see it happen here. I will never ask for any sort of money or payment for these giveaways. That about does it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and thank you again for 2,500 subs. At 5,000, we'll have our biggest giveaway yet. Cheers.